What the fuck are you looking at? Do, 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 do. Fuck you. This video and any other videos on this channel are not made for kids. Where does he get those wonderful toys? Hello, Moscato Bot residents. Hello, I can hear you breathing. Hello? Fucking dick. Are you fucking kidding me? Hello? Who the fuck is this? Hello? Hey, what the hell? Why'd you hang up on me? Oh, that was fucking you, no wonder. Sorry, I had fucking food in my mouth. Oh, shocker, yeah, I could hear you eating fat ass. Hey, I should be home sometime in the early morning. Uh-huh. Did you get my package? Package? I remember it being small. Oh, I fucking got Tracy. Can you please go see if I have a package? I'm expecting something for my next... God damn it, hold on. I'm expecting something for my next review. My god, you fucking toy nerd, I'll go check. Yeah, it's fucking here. What is it, another one of your fucking little dollies? Awesome. Go put it in my game room upstairs. Please don't fuck with anything. Leave it alone. I'll be home soon. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me, Mo? Seriously, you're such a virgin. I mean, you're lucky I let you touch my tits when we were teenagers. Yeah, thanks. I gotta go. Bye. Hello? Mo? Motherfucker hung up on me. Yeah, small dick anyways. <laughs> Water my plants, Tracy. Oh, show me your tits, Tracy. Tracy does everything. Oh my god. What a fucking loser. Oh. God, and this guy got married before me? Ew. I mean, if I was his wife, I definitely would not let this shit fly, but... Whatever. I'm curious to see what this loser got anyways. Ugh. Yep. More fucking dollies as usual. Jeez. What a pussy. There's his camera. Hi, Moscato Bots! How y'all doing? It's fucking crazy scary more up in this bitch and today we're gonna be fucking reviewing the brand new ultimate ghost face and the retro cloth ghost face from NECA toys oh my god I'm so fucking excited let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging so here is the front of the box of the new ultimate ghost face action figure and you get a lovely picture of ghost faces Face. Ghostface's face? Ghostface's face? Oh my god, I can't fucking say that. But there's the scary guy's face, and it looks so scary. Top of the box, you just get a Ghostface logo. I guess they couldn't get the rights for Scream. Cheap asses. There's the NECA logo right there. Warning, choking hazard. Don't put these in your holes. I like sticking things in my holes. But if you stick these in your holes, you'll probably die. Just saying. So, don't do it. They're small parts, and I mean... They'll get lost in my hole, for sure. Bottom of the box, all the people at NECA Toys who made these toys, I mean, it definitely got my stupid cousin hooked, but if you guys want to go ahead and pause that, you can see all the people that made this happen. Um, all the licensing stuff, there's the UPC if you want that. NECA, real toys, that's basically it for the bottom. Side of the box, you guys, here we have the logo again with Ghostface, NECA, real toys and a nice product shot of the figure. Other side, we have the exact same thing. And the back of the box, you guys, you can see here we have Ghostface slashing through the box because that's what he does. He slashes and gashes and he cuts holes in your asses. 
<laughs> that's from Scary Movie. Ghostface, the icon of Halloween. Um, that's wrong. It's Michael Myers that's the icon of Halloween. But I guess when I was a kid, all the boys in my grade, they were all Ghostface because it was such a hoot. Returns with this brand new Ultimate Edition action figure featuring over 25 points of articulation and a real fabric cloak. And here's all the alternate heads. Ooh, glow in the dark. That looks super awesome. Love it. Includes knives, a scythe, voice changer, four interchangeable heads, and hands. Wow. Now here's the retro cloth figure of Ghostface. And he only comes with a few accessories. He comes with his knife, his voice changer, and that's pretty much it. You know, this guy is definitely bigger. And I do like this artwork right here showing Ghostface with his knife. Very nicely done. Ghostface, ages 17 and up. Small parts, don't stick them in your holes, idiots. NECA, real toys. Do you like the purple that's going on there? Very nice. The back of the box, you guys, here's some product shots of Ghostface with the knife, the voice changer, and another picture of him holding his knife. Includes knife, voice changer, interchangeable hand. Ooh, I didn't see that. NECA, real toys, don't stick them in your holes. Slasher Design Co., all that fancy schmancy stuff. There you go. So, we've taken a look at the packaging. Let's get these guys out and go over the figures. Dab test! Oh my god, he can dab. That's fan-fucking-tastic. All right, though, you guys. This is everything that comes with Ghostface right here. Three alternate heads, three alternate knives, a set of alternate hands, the voice changer, the scythe, and he's pretty articulated. The ab crunch on him is uh, not so bad. Um, if you're wondering where my Tracy voice went, this is me doing an impression of my cousin, okay? I can do it really good. It's just kind of straining to keep talking like this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do an impression of my cousin. There we go. Um, um. But yeah, this guy. Is fucking awesome. Well, look at the texture on the cloak. I love the little shredded sleeves of the Reaper right here. Really cool. Love what's going on here. We'll get a closer look at all that articulation in a second. Close up of the accessories. Love the glow in the dark head sculpt. Uh, a weathered kind of zombie looking head sculpt. A covered in blood head sculpt. The knives look incredible. Voice changer looks good. Alternate hands. The scythe is very, very detailed on the handle there. Everything's looking good. Look at Ghostface boots. Ghost faces? Look at Ghost faces boots. Is that how you say it? Guy looks incredible. Let's get into that articulation. All right, you guys. So articulation. Let's go ahead and start with the head first. Okay, first off, he can look down that far. That's pretty far down. Up quite a way. So down, up. Look at this range of motion here in the head. Very, very well done. Love it so much. Um, what's cool too is the hood has a little bendy wire in there so you can open that up a bit. Make it look like that wider hooded look. Bring it over his face more. I mean, however you want to do it. So the eyes are covered more however you want that there's a little bit of a wire in there the hood does come completely down as well so when you want to change the head sculpts you just go ahead and wiggle that off remember be careful with your toys there we go you can see the little ball peg right there and then you just go ahead and pop it back into place like so and then you bring up and over with the hood and bam play around with it you can even have that part up a bit. Oh, it's very stretchy. These are his stretchy pants. But yeah, play around with it how you want it. You can get that with the hood. Arms can rotate that far. Now remember, with NECA toys, you want to be very careful with the joints when you first get them. I did see a review earlier, and um, the guy <laughs> snapped his uh, right arm right out of the packaging so again be very careful now you can't take the cloak off from what I'm seeing I don't know why you'd want to um, the only reason I would want to is you know to heat up the joints so just be very careful but we do got a double joint there you guys can see double joint um, we do have some rotation 
at the forearm there. Of course, it's just going to keep twisting around itself. But yeah, great range of motion right there again. Out, in, or in, <laughs> out, I should say. Wrists do rotate all the way around, and they are on a hinge. If I can, there we go, you see the hinge moving. There we go. Oh yeah, that is great. Now, let's go ahead and lift up his little cloak here. And this is what you're getting on the inside. No real body, look at that, that's kind of weird. You can see the hinges right there, the ball hinge. Pretty sweet. And great range of motion already. He's doing the splits. You got that upper thigh swivel. Right there. Just be careful. There we go. It's starting to move now. I would be extremely careful. I would heat up the legs if I were you guys. Single jointed knee. About that far. Hinge on the foot. Can go forward a bit up a bit now the jeans here hinder that and you got nice rotation all the way around and a bit of rocker not too bad and oh before i forget this is really awesome check out this crunch back i mean look at that dude great range of motion side not so much but oh you can just bend so far forward that's why i did that little dab pose i mean you know look at this guy you can get him into some crazy poses here. Not that you'd want to pose him like this, but I'm saying he can do some shit. That's pretty awesome. Throwing up some accessories on him. There he is with his six, and I'll probably have him posed up on the shelf like this, but there he is with the knife, blood stain on it, and the voice changer. Love how that looks. Classic ghost face right there. Love it. Kind of wish he had the cell phone and the voice changer. Just, you know, it's kind of his thing. He calls his victims and cuts their ass up. But hey, who am I? I'm just some fat guy. Or girl, jeez. But there is <laughs> ghost face. Looking really cool with those accessories. So here is the scythe. And here is ghost face with the weathered alternate head sculpt. And this looks amazing already just look at this pose that detail really awesome this would be another great way to display this guy on the shelf next up you guys we have Ghostface with the bloody head sculpt which looks fantastic and look at the blood on the kitchen knife or butcher knife if you will got him in a bit of a uh, Michael Myers pose here just a little homage to Michael Myers because he is one of the kings of the slashers and we love Michael Myers. But this looks great. I love the bloody look on the face. I love the blood paint job on the knife. That looks really great. In fact, I might even give that to uh, my 2018 Michael Myers. Um, that looks pretty fucking awesome. So again, there's tons of options you could do with this guy. Um, I I'm really liking this a lot. I might even change it up and give him the uh, buck knife again. But um, yeah, now I am having a problem getting the uh, the, the uh, black buck knife goes in perfectly. And I love that, um, which I'll probably have that because it's more of a classic ghost face. Um, but here you guys can see I can't get that in all the way. It's very tight. I didn't want to break anything. Maybe if I heat up the hand, but I don't know. Uh, do it at your own risk. Play with it a little bit. Just be extremely careful. But there is the knife. There is the bloody head sculpt and it just looks amazing. It's nice! This is fucking awesome! Holy shit! It's just a floating head, but that's cool. What the fuck are you looking at? Fuck you. That's so cool. Juice, 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 juice them up. Get yourselves a UV flashlight at Walmart for 10 bucks. That is awesome. Let's actually go ahead and put the head on the figure. Okay, so you can't tell me that this does not look awesome. So we're juicing him up with the UV light, but I want you guys to see kind of how he looks in the dark. I mean, what a great pose right there. And then we'll go ahead and take that away. And bam, that is bright. That is great. Again, so you guys can see the pose. That looks so creepy. 
so incredible. This head sculpt alone, by this guy. By this guy. Now, I wish there was a way just to keep it, you know, the glow all the time. But play around with it with a UV flashlight. That is super, super crazy. So awesome. Okay, so before we take a look at the showcase for the ultimate ghost face from NECA Toys, here is the retro cloth ghost face from NECA Toys, and we'll do a little comparison here. But he comes with, again, the three accessories, knife, voice changer, and alternate hand to hold the knife, two open hands, and that's basically it. Judging by this guy here, like the cloak looks fantastic, it's super shiny, boots look great, it looks like a great figure, but after looking at that ultimate man, and we'll compare both side by side in a second. Oh my god, the ultimate I like so much better than this guy. Just something about this face is off. But this is still a great looking figure for display. The eyes seem just more closed. I, I don't know. The more I think about it, I don't really like this one that much. But uh, it's great that we got him for the review. So there's that. Let's go ahead and go over the articulation quick. Alright you guys, so starting with the head, we can go up that far, down that far, and then the hood you guys, it's got a bendy wire inside there, so you can do all sorts of things with it. And it does stretch down quite a bit so you can get those creepy, you know, downward looking poses just barely seeing his eyes. So that looks pretty sweet. Go ahead and open that up a bit. You can make it how you want it, you know. Um, we can go side to side. Um, he can go 360 all the way around if you'd like. You just have to pull the hood, uh, hood down. But there's that. Pretty cool. Arms go out. They go in. We have a single jointed elbow. Wrists rotate all the way around and they are on a hinge up and down. Pretty cool. Um, they cannot rotate at the uh, bicep legs. Can go out. I mean, that's going to... The cloak here is going to hinder it. But if we lift this all the way up, we actually see we got like a little bit of... We got some pants going on underneath unlike the other ghost face but he can do the splits pretty good and we have a single jointed oh ooh, ooh, did we break anything nice little click there single jointed knee and then we just have a hinge foot right there so it can go down up can't rotate or anything can't pivot because it's one of the retro style figures so the articulation is very very limited now don't get me wrong this guy looks incredible you can get the voice changer up to his mouth that's a great pose looks awesome the hood is extremely big and wide i love that look but um just the feet you guys you know how it is with these uh retro style figures there's no peg holes on the bottom of the feet and there's no pivot so you can get him to stand but he just looks like he's wearing clown shoes and they're tilted you know so I don't really like that. Again, it'll look great on the shelf. You know, you're not gonna be looking at his feet most of the time. You're gonna be looking right here and saying, oh damn, that looks awesome. The cloak looks fantastic. The fabric feels great. Everything looks amazing. Just, <laughs> we'll compare them now, but you guys will see what I mean in a second. You tell me, which one do you think looks better? I think the ultimate ghost face is loads better. The face looks better. Um, more articulation, more accessories, that would be the way to go. Again, if you love Ghostface, if you're a big mega fan of Scream, get both of them. I love both, I really do, so I just prefer this guy more. And if I hadn't already have gotten this guy first and saved him for the uh, double review here, um, I, I, I probably would have waited and just got this guy, you know? Um, plus the, uh, the glow-in-the-dark head sculpt really wins it for me. But there's a bit of a comparison. You can see the knife is definitely bigger than the ultimate knife here on the retro cloth one. Of course, no blood, bigger hands. And if you go down here, you can see that the um, voice changers, here's the ultimate. You can see the uh, retro cloth one is definitely bigger than the ultimate ghost face. So both incredible looking figures. I mean, add both if you can. If you're only going for one though, I'd say get the ultimate figure. That's just my personal opinion. Okay, you guys, so starting with some comparisons, here is Santa Stripe. Not a retro cloth figure, but still, he has a Santa Claus suit on. Thought we'd be a little festive here if we can get him to stand. God, these gremlins are so, they are so hard to stand. There we go. Let's see if he'll hold. We'll go ahead and throw up a little gizmo with him. 
It's a nice little Christmas theme right there. And you know what? While we're talking about Christmas, let's go ahead and put Clark W. Griswold right next to him right there. That looks incredible. I think that was a pretty good impression. Okay, so let's get these fucking losers out of here. And, uh, wow. Let's go ahead and throw up some more figures. So for those of you collecting more of the horror retro cloth figures, let's go ahead and throw up Candyman. This is what these two would look like together on the shelf. Pretty sweet, love this Candyman figure. Possibly my favorite two pack of all time and one of my favorite retro cloth figures, Dr. Sam Loomis. And he came in the two pack with Laurie Strode from Halloween 2. Let's go ahead and see if we can get her in there. I have to use a stand for her because one of the joints on her uh, foot there, you can see the hinge is super loose so it just falls down, but they look incredible together. So getting a nice set of horror retro cloth figures would look amazing on a shelf. Just wanted to show you guys other horror retro cloth figures next to the retro cloth. Ghostface. All right, so let's get some horror comparisons going on here. Um, one of my favorite figures and my favorite horror icon is Pennywise, and this is the It Chapter 2 Pennywise with the whole dog tongue action going on when he ate the kid in the mirror maze or whatever. But these two look awesome together. Now, not as classic as someone like Michael Myers or the other Pennywise showing up with this um, awesome figure, but we'll get to that in a second. So there is the It Chapter 2 Ultimate uh, Pennywise figure next to the Ultimate Ghostface. Here we have the Ultimate Halloween 2 Michael Myers. Ultimate Friday the 13th Part 3D Jason. Uh, this guy always has problems standing. There we go. Pretty sweet looking together. Probably my second favorite, Chucky. <laughs> I love Chucky so much. But yeah, that just looks great together on the shelf. Those guys look awesome together. The Demon King of Nightmares. We have Freddy Krueger from the first Nightmare on Elm Street. Another classic. We have the classic 1990 TV miniseries Pennywise. Played by the awesome Tim Curry. Just tell me that doesn't look awesome right now. That is amazing. I love it. If you want to just get a little horror icon shelf going on, there you go. How, man, that's my childhood right there. All these scary movies growing up, man. I love it so much. It looks incredible. God, doing the Scatterbot's voice really freaking hurts my throat. Ugh. My boyfriend Polly hurts my throat too, but... It's one of those hurt so good feelings. <laughs> um, anyways, you guys, what would fat ass say right now? We've gone over the figures, the accessories. Whoopsies, forgot the retro ghost face. It's Adam in right next to his little brother right there. I like the little brother so much better. I definitely would sleep with him. Um, he'd probably kill me. But we've gone over the figures, the accessories, comparisons. Let's get to my favorite part of these videos, the showcase. Here we go. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video, you guys. Oh my gosh, my cousin's gonna be so pissed that I did his review. Oh, it's gonna be so funny. But that's it for this video. Thank you all so much for stopping by. I hope you'll suck on my nipples, and we'll see you all in the next one. Bye, bitches! Oh my gosh, she's gonna be fucking pissed. How do I turn this shit off? I wanna go eat my fucking popcorn. Fucking 
fucking fat ass calling me again. Hello? Hello? Hello, who is this? Is it fat ass again? What number is this? 1 800 eat my ass. Locality's good. Are you fucking kidding me? Hello? I'm sorry, I guess I dialed the wrong number. Asshole, is this fucking Paul? Maybe. You tell me your name, I'll tell you mine. Ooh. <laughs> Paul, you sound kind of sexy. Do I? Yeah, but I bet you got a small dick. <laughs> I don't know. I'd even call him small dick. To apologize. Well, oh, you can take your small dick and fuck off, sorry. Wait, wait, don't hang up. I wanna talk to you for a second. Sorry. Not interested. Why don't you wanna talk to me? Yeah, uh, I don't think my boyfriend would like this very much. So, you got a boyfriend? I have to admit, Mr. Voiceman, your voice is sounding kinda sexy. You make my parents a little foggy. Do you have a boyfriend? Yeah, I do. He's coming over. I rented some scary movies tonight. <laughs> and a naughty one. <laughs> What's your favorite scary movie? I don't know. You have to have a favorite. What comes to mind? Probably Jaws, because they're a lot eating in that one. <laughs> you never told me your name. Why do you want to know my name? I want to know who I'm looking at. What did you say? I have to go. You hang up on me and I'll cut through your neck until I feel bone! Seriously, asshole, you're really fucking freaking me out here! I'm sorry, you don't have to be a bitch about it. Can you see me? Who the fuck is this? This is the last person you're ever gonna see alive. Are you sure? Not after what happened last time. Oh, that's chicken good, yeah? Oh, that's chicken oh, that's good, good, yeah? Oh, come on, baby. I just wanted to give you a little scare. You ran the jocks with Cox 5, right? I'm not watching it with your ugly ass now after all that phone bullshit. You fucking scaring me, you fucking dick. Phone stuff? What phone stuff? Oh, don't even fucking pull that shit with you fucking in the phone calls. You scared the <laughs> I know it fucking looks like a virgin's room, right?
watching Santa's waiting. Christmas Eve is slowly fading. Can you hear him in the night? Close the door, turn out the light.